Welcome to All Life Mouse TV. My name is Jakes Anemo. And in today's challenge, we have a very sweet challenge. But before we go into today's challenge, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we upload sweet video, nice video, wonderful video, rhetorical video for your exercise, for your view, for your learning. Okay, so let's dive into today's challenge. bracket x plus one close bracket all equal to 100 open bracket x plus one what well, there will be the value of x this is a very fine challenge so let's take a solution so here we have solution hmm. we pull down our equation we says we have here bracket open x plus one or to the power of log bracket open x plus one close bracket equal to 100 bracket open x plus one hmm. if we look at this critically you may be tempted to divide all through by x plus one because we are having x plus one as the base number here but if we do that because of the presence of this log, we may run into some trouble, into more challenges. So the best thing to do, or what I would rather do here, is to take um, the log to be 10 of all, of all the part of both sides. Why am I going to take log to be 10? It's because of the presence of this 100. Okay, so I will take here, yeah, we we'll say take log to base 10 to base 10 of both sides of both sides hmm. so if i take log to base 10 of both side this expression will now become log base 10 bracket open x plus one close bracket to the power of log log one close bracket or equal to one sorry or equal to log base 10 100 close bracket x log one all right now okay let's just leave this here like this first now if you look at this this is power this is product okay so this if i put this in bracket it stay the same thing now if we cast our mind back to the properties of logarithm you will agree with me that if you have log m to the power of k base a is the same thing as k log m base a what happened here is this the law says that when you have a log of a number of an alphabet to a particular power, take the power back, which is this now, k log m base a. Another property or another law says that if you have log x, y base a, this is same thing as log x base a plus log y bis a hmm. this is what we call the product law okay the product law says that when you have two numbers multiply themselves you can split the two numbers to give you here yeah, the first one log x bis a which is the base plus log y base that same base a yeah okay so if you look at these two expressions now these two properties they are already showing here this is the multiplication law and this is the power law so if we apply this in this place this will give us something very special so from here let's proceed from here okay so if we proceed from here this expression is going to give us here uh, which is the power here 
it give us log bracket x plus one close bracket dot log bracket x plus one close bracket or equal to mm, yeah the product law we apply that here which is log 100 base 10 plus log x plus 1 base 10. All right. If you look at this, this is same with x. So this could also be written as log bracket of x plus 1 close bracket square equal to this will now give us log 10 to the power of 2 because 10 to the power of 2 will give us 100 which is this 100 base 10 plus log bracket x plus 1 base 10. Wow. Okay. So from here, when I begin to think, begin to think again, automatically this will give us log bracket x plus 1. Okay, base 10 here, please. Base 10. Oh, sorry, all these ones. I carry base 10 too. Okay, so base 10 all squared equal to, yeah, if we bring this back, it's going to give us log 10 base 10. And the log of any number base itself is 1. So this will now give us 2 times 1, which is 2 plus log bracket a pin x plus 1 base 10. Wow. Okay. Now look at this. From here, what if I decide to introduce a different alphabet to represent log x plus 1 base 10? So I can probably say here that let log bracket x plus 1 of base 10 be y. So if it is equal to y, so wherever I see log x plus 1 base 10, I put in y there. Very easy. So this expression now becomes y squared equal to 2 plus y. Wow. If we rearrange this, this will give us y squared minus y minus 2 equal to Mm, zero. Oh my goodness. Wow. What kind of equation is this? This is automatically a quadratic equation. So we have to solve this quadratically. Okay? So if we have to solve this quadratically, let's use the factorization method. Solve quadratically. Solve quadratically. Okay? Solve quadratically. Okay? Um, by factorization method. If I do that, I'm going to bring out the constant here, which is 2, and now look for the factors of 2. So the factors of 2 are 1 and 2, just two numbers. So from these two numbers, let's get the number that when we multiply that together, we give us minus 2, add that together to give us minus x. So from here, uh, if we look at this critically, this is to give us y squared, then minus 2y plus y minus 2, or equal to 0. Okay, because minus 2y plus y will give us minus 1. And minus 2 times plus 1 will give us minus 2. So automatically, when I group this, we can group this, group this. Okay. When we group this, we factor out terms that are common in this place. But before we continue, once again, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube can notify you whenever we drop a wonderful video like the one you are watching right now. So let's go back to the bird. From here, y is common to this. So we now bring out y. Okay. So if you bring out here y, sorry, y. Bracket, y will be left out here, minus 2, close bracket. Here, 1 is common. So we bring out 1, we are left with y, minus 2, close bracket, equal to 0. 
Now we discover that the 10 in the first bracket and the second bracket are the same. So we take only one and take the ones that are outside. So if we do this, this now implies bracket open y minus 2 close bracket, close bracket, y plus 1. Hmm. Very easy. Okay. Now, from here, all equal to 0. From here, we use what is called the zero product property. Okay. So using the zero product property, this will now give us. So from here, let's proceed again. So from the zero product property, uh, property, Dix will now give us here y minus 2 equal to 0 or y plus 1 equal to 0. So if we do this, therefore, y is equal to 2 or y is equal to minus 1. Therefore, we now have y equal to 2 and minus 1. But remember, in the initial equation, we don't have y. We have x. And that should bring our mind back to where we said, let log base 10, or x plus 1 base 10 equal to y. So let's go back and put it in this. Okay? So from here, we can now say, recall, recall that y equal to log bracket x plus 1 base 10. Now that we succeeded in solving for y, wherever we see y, we put in the first term. So when y is equal to 2, what will now be the value of our x? So we now have here 2 equal to log bracket x plus 1 base 10. If we take the log to base 10 of both sides, this will give us 2 log 10 base 10 equal to log x plus 1 base 10. This will now give us log 10 to base 2, 10 to power 2, equal to log, here we have x plus 1 base 10. Whoa! So from here, log, we take care of log, so we can equate the power. So equating the power, the x will now give us here 100 equal to x plus 1. So if you collect your license, this will now give you x equal to 100 minus 1. So therefore, x is equal to 99. That is the first value of x. Mind you, we have a second value for y. So from there, we proceed again. From here, let's proceed. Okay. When y when y equal to minus 1, so we bring in our expression again, we say log bracket x plus 1 equal to minus 1. Okay, so from this, we can equally introduce log to base 10 to both sides. This will now give us log bracket x plus 1 base 10 equal to Minus 1 log 10 base 10. Mm. Take this back according to the power law. Okay? So if we move this back to this other side, this will now give us log bracket x plus 1 base 10 equal to log 10 to the power of minus 1 base 10. Now that the bases are the same and the log is to base 10, so this we take care of this. We are now left with dex. Dex equal to 10 to the power of minus 1. As a reminder, like I told you, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe and turn on the bell notification button so that YouTube will notify you whenever we drop also video, wonderful video, okay? Because we drop videos every day. Mathematics is fun. Okay, so sit back. Let's continue. So, x can equally be written as x plus 1 equal to 1 all over 10. According to the law of indices, we says 
that if you have something like this, if you have m to the power of minus um, a, let's use a, this is same thing as 1 all over m to the power of a. Okay? All right. So from this, we proceed again. Collect your light and this will now give you x equal to 1 all over 10 minus 1. And if you carry out this simplification, this will give you x is equal to... All right, let's continue on this side. This will give us x is equal to um, 1 minus 10 all over 10, which is equal to minus 9 all over 10. Okay, so we have this to be minus 9 all over 10. Finally, finally, we now have, therefore, our x equal to 99. So we have here 9, 9, r minus 9 all over 10. Six is the solution to our x from that question q e d all right so if you have any question which regards to this survey drop it in the comment section okay or you have a better way a shorter way a shorter method of solving this drop it also in the comment section because i'm here to learn from you you are here to learn from me we are here to strike a win-win situation okay thanks for being there once again, my name is Jake's Anemo. Remember, I love you, and All I Must TV loves you too. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.